Hi, so today we're going to be taking a brief look at FlingOS's new graphical user interface debugger, which lets us debug the kernel uh, at the assembly code level and the IL code level. So to connect, we press the connect button and then start the virtual machine. The virtual machine will be configured with three COM ports. Uh, one outputs to a text file, which isn't used by the debugger. The other outputs to a serial port, uh, which is used for messaging with the debugger, and another third one for notifications to the debugger. So the operating system starts and sends a message to the debugger to notify it's connected. At this point, all the threads in the operating system are running, and we can click the refresh button to get a list of those threads. We can then select a thread and click suspend. This pauses the thread. By clicking set from file list, we can set a list of breakpoints from an existing setup list in a file. We can see now how you search for a breakpoint by filtering and then set it. Multiple threads can be suspended at once. By suspending a thread, we can then step through it between the breakpoints. Here we can see stepping through the, the main window manager thread and the deferred system call thread. At this point, the window manager thread has stepped into a system call which has been deferred. The deferred system call thread is now being stepped through. The deferred system call thread is handling the call from the window manager. Here I have highlighted the exact line of assembly code that the debugger has stopped on. We can see in the bottom left the list of arguments and local variables. By clicking load layer we can get more detailed information about the fields of those variables. Now we can see it's loaded the full list, including the first layer of fields for all the objects. We can see the field names and their respective values, and their types. By clicking load layer again, we can load a second depth. We can now see it has loaded the second depth layer of objects fields. Here we can see a process which has a string field and where the string has been loaded and the value of the string is window manager. Here we can see a pipe with an output point field. And in our list of locals we can also see the temporaries for the current method. By stepping again we could get to a different breakpoint. We can single step through individual lines of assembly code. Here we can see how each push instruction creates a new temporary in the locals list. We then execute the pop lines which remove those temporaries from the list and put them into the respective registers which we can see on the left hand side. We can then resume a thread to allow it to continue running. Here we can see lots of methods that match the same filter.
by suspending a thread and then clicking the View ASM bu toggle button at the bottom and selecting a debug point from the list we can see the assembly code. By untoggling the View ASM button you can go back to viewing the assembly code for the current method. To end the session, simply click the destroy button and then shut down the virtual machine.